Hi everybody. I wanted to share uh, some refinements of how I've been playing with uh, the astronomy composite module and Q-spectrum. Uh, working with Euro USD and 30 minute bars, the main goal is to try to work out what the swings will be for one week ahead. Uh, doing the calculation over the weekend and preparing for the week ahead and just as a for instance here um, into November, um, the week ending November 20 showed a, a nice downtrend here. Um, I've got the ULE set for um, moon conjunctions with Mars and Venus, which seem to be pretty active on this pair. <clears throat> I'm sorry, not conjunctions, uh, squares, uh, 90 degrees. So over here, um, if we click on production technique and click in here, we find out that um, moon is square to Mars at this point. And there's a four degree orb in here. So here's one of the refinements I've been playing with to try to pick out the proper harmonic on the composite module. Um, if I click Dignity and I come to sort of this area or in midweek, um, I'm seeing and we're dealing with the moon as the most active cycle for a one week period. Um, so I'm not using daily bars and I'm not looking at the long term. I'm just looking for one week ahead. <clears throat> we can see that the moon, um, that the classical dispositor or the ruler for the house that the moon will be in, which happens to be Leo, um, is the sun. So if I pick out a moon-sun composite, um, I might have better luck with that than uh, uh, making some other choices. So here we have bring this in. Moon-Sun composite and which of these um, harmonics works best? I wasn't satisfied just to leave it on Geo, uh, the first harmonic. Um, I'm looking for a little more accuracy and a little more precision and with a smooth orb of 5% to try to pick up sort of more detailed turning points, um, I've decided to go into a manual system and relate the manual um, going right in here definition to um, what is the predominant cycle as picked out by Q Spectrum 2. So let's bring in Q Spectrum 2. Let me hit calculate <clears throat> furthermore on a one week swing I have seen the best luck with peaks that center around 50 days even a little shy of 50 um, so right here I'm going to click this peak which is the highest of the cluster that's around 50 days uh, notice that I'm in back testing mode and that I've set up my minimum and maximum bars because they're 30 minute bars to 1800 and 3000. Um, I have metric time and I'm looking for permanent cycles here in Q Spectrum 2. Um, okay. So this will give me a general idea of what's happening. Um, but this number 49.23, I then plug into an Excel spreadsheet that I created. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of different relationships here. But on a, uh, a cycle of 49.23, the period of this particular combination of moon minus sun is 29.53 days. And if I divide that by the predominant cycle, 49.23, I get this manual factor here. If I multiply, the, in other words, um, this 29.53 by 0.599, etc., 
I get this cycle displayed on the composite module. Okay, so let me put that out of the way. <clears throat> get that out of the way, and so um, I've input that number into here, just pasted it in. And because I'm using 5% smooth orb, I've smoothed out to 360 degrees um, all of these settings. Um, so let me just click this on and see how we're doing here. Um, okay, now, why inverted versus normal? So I look back to the previous week and see what the last swing has done here. And notice that we have a nice downtrend uh, on Friday the 19th through the 20th. And this curve is showing an upward trend, so let's invert that. Right here. Okay, and I, I do like the, the fact that this is uh, somewhat aligning with this um, Mars Moon square here. So here's the big reveal. How do we see how this did? So I'm going to set my LBC out this way, and not bad. <clears throat> we have a nice downturn um, until we hit to the square and then sudden up up move here. Um, so the same process, I'll, I'll just go week to week and continue the same idea here. Um, I would recalculate all these just to see how it worked one week ahead. Let me just see what's going on here. Okay, so we needed an opposite. See how this is, it predicted beautifully, but uh, so I've been working on when to do the inverses here. Um, so we have this last swing on the previous week as a strong up, and yet the curve is down. So there's a, a good indication that we need to invert this again. Okay, back to normal. And uh, the, the same 49.23 period is, is working out well. Um, the square in this case, let's check that out is Moon and Venus, okay? And that made a beautiful pivot right here. So some food for thought, check it out, um, and see if you can't get more accurate with your weekly predictions using this idea. Take care.